everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a mini album to share for the Simple Stories Design team. I'm using the Let's Get Crafty collection, uh, which is just amazing, so awesome for uh, anyone who loves crafting and if you're watching this video then you probably love crafting. <laughs> so this collection is for you. Um, so I was um, totally, I have loads of photos from, um, from uh, retreats that I've been on. Now I own a business called Go Go Getaway and we run um, scrapbooking retreats and um, have done for many many years and then I came on board as a design, design team member in 2015 and then joined the management team in 2017 or maybe 16 um, and, um, and basically this um, book is a story of my journey um, with Go Go Getaway which is long and wonderful. Uh, I've been going to retreats since 2011 so um, it's been 11 years so far. So um, this Let's Get Crafty collection completely inspired me to tell the stories of Go Go Getaway and the most amazing um, last 11 years really. We've just, I've just had so much fun and so such great times and now I own the business and run it um, and continuously bring scrapbooking joy to lots of delegates so it is so wonderful to do um, to be part of that and this Let's Get Crafty collection completely inspired me to tell those stories um, so I decided to make a mini book. Um, my mini books um, never turn out to be that mini um, and this one uh, took me um, several days just to find the photos to go in it. I had to go back through archives, I had to go through back old layouts, um, I had to um, go through memory cards, CDs um, because you know 11 years ago uh, photos were taken and stored in a different way to what they are now. Um, so it took me a really long time to find the photos um, and that was before I even started. And anyway I ended up with 84 photos that I wanted to include in this book. So I knew it wasn't going to be particularly mini uh, when I started. But um, So I'm using one of the Simple Stories flip books. It's the washed, white washed wood um, and the thing about flip books is that they can expand quite significantly. Um, however, I don't think they are ready for me and my mini books. Um, <laughs> mine is a little bit too much on the large side to the point where I think I might actually get a second book and attach them together somehow. So I have like a, or maybe just have a part one and part two. Um, so anyway, I'm decorating the front cover right now. You can see I have cut the floral bit from the six by eight pad from that Dream Live Create um, big uh, uh, six by eight paper there um, and uh, I've cut the floral part out of it and used that for the front cover. I'm adding a few pieces of ephemera for the um, hearts and um, down the bottom left I've added the pencil pot and other things. Now for my tie I've got puffy stickers on there as well and some foam flowers from the foam stickers um, and um, for my title um, I've used I've cut my um, my logo the Go Go Getaway logo um, for on my silhouette and then the arrow is a perspective by um, Bramble Fox in the UK who um, I actually asked them to make some custom made ones um, in the past um, and I uh, had that arrow left over from that so um, so yeah so that's what that is and where I got those from so that's basically my company logo which is um, it's really cool to have that on the front of the album I love it um, so yeah I've added um, on the front I've added uh, foam flowers uh, fussy cut um, flowers, ephemera flowers, I've got ephemera, cotton reels, I've got hearts um, and um, it's all, and enamel dots as well, it's all looking very pretty. Um, so here I am now moving on to the inside part of the album. So you can see how the flipbooks work, they're just with one of those file fastener things um, which are re is really such a simple but clever idea um, to make these albums awesome. Um, so uh, I've taken the whole thing apart and I've removed the page protectors. So um, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with page protectors. Um, they bother me that things have to go in and out. On the other hand, I understand that they are then protected. Um, but generally, I like mini albums to be outside the page protector. So um, part of me thought I might use them, uh, but then in the end, I just or I thought I might mix. Um, but in the end, I decided to discard the page protectors, which also goes against the grain because I hate anything to be wasted. I like to use the things, all the things. <laughs> um, but uh, I just had to move on and decide that no, I'm not going to use those this time. I'm going to 
stick with everything outside the page protector. So I'm making my own pages. So I've cut, I've picked out a few papers, quite a lot of papers from the Let's Get Crafty collection, and I've cut them into four by 12 strips. So each sheet, I've got three of those. Um, I start off with two of each design, um, and um, then I'm scoring them. So I've measured the page protector, and I need to, the first piece, um, the whole length of the page protector is seven and a half inches. So um, that doesn't give me um, nice, two nice pieces of six by four each, if that makes sense, that would have been a nice page, but of course then I need the bit for the spine. So I've, I've measured the whole thing, I've scored at seven and a half inches. So then I end up with a piece that is four and a half peach, peaches, um, four and a half inches folded over. Um, so they will be quite good to create flip outs, pockets, um, all, all sorts of things. So I decided that that was my starting point. I was going to um, fold all of my pages in that way, some going one way, some going the other way. Um, and, um, and then I figured I could go from there. Um, now I've also taken um, some papers and cut four by 12 strips and then folded those in half. Um, to make a piece that is six by four. Um, and that just means that my, that, and then I've created a pocket from that by sewing the two edges. Um, so one is obviously already um, got a spine and the other end is open. So that makes a pocket page. But of course then I need the holes punched. Um, so therefore um, I lose a bit of the page that way. So then I end up with some smaller pages, which actually is fine because um, it was quite nice to have the smaller pages interspersed throughout the album. So. I have a whole load of these flip open pages and I have a whole uh, bunch of ones that are just pocket pages and are six by four size um, and therefore they appear smaller than that um, in the book. Um, so I'm, you can see that I've punched the holes and I'm putting all of those pages um, back onto the album. I'm not sure if I will work on each page individually or if I will work on it within the album um, at this point. So I'm putting it all in. Um, but what I do end up doing is working on everything outside the album. I take it, take it all apart again later when I when I start using it and um, go from there. Um, I also had a piece <clears throat> at the top there you can see of the six by eight paper pad that I folded it in half um, and I figured that I could put that inside a page protector and then use it as a flip up but afterwards I decided not to use the page protectors. Um, that wouldn't have worked. Um, I could have potentially stuck it onto one of the other pages and created a flip up that way but I didn't use it in that way. Um, so I've mainly stuck with these flip open pages and the pocket style pages that I described as well. So um, you can see here that I'm just starting things off and I'm trying to work out how I'm going to fit 84 photos into this tiny mini album. <clears throat> and, uh, <coughs> um, and I also need to include some um, serious amount of journaling um, here as well because I have a lot of stories to tell spanning 11 years. So um, I'm just working that out and I'm having a look to see how my pages will look. Um, and then what I'm going to do is turn the camera off and go and really go for it. And it, at, literally this, this book took me about three days to make um, pretty much nonstop. It's been a very epic project. Um, so I'm very pleased that it's done. I'm very pleased that I've done this. Um, I love the stories that I've told. and I love the completed album, even though it is a little on the large side. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do all the embellishing on screen. Um, this video would be... Um, three days long. <laughs> um, but what I am going to do is move over and show you a flip through of the completed album. Right, so here is a flip through of this um, epic mini album. <laughs> um, you can see the front cover there is just um, one of these wonderful flip books and I've added some embellishments on the front. I've cut the my the um, name of my business there, Go Go Getaway, and used a, a perspective arrow, which I was specially made, um, not for this specific project, but for, for my team. So um, I've got the whole album bound with um, a piece of ribbon which I've stapled to the front um, and the back covers and you can see that this is pretty huge. I don't mind a chunky mini but this is perhaps going a step too far. Um, but uh, anyway, right so um, let's get crafty. Nice and simple chipboard on the inside cover and then we start with the um, pages themselves. So um, 
I've gone back all the way to 2010 um, for this album um, and uh, I have photos pretty much from every year between then and now so that's why it's quite epic so um, each of the page most of the pages flip open like so so I have like a six by four page plus the extra bit um, and that made up the 12 by four uh, strip and, um, whoops it's gonna be hard to show um <laughs> That uh, page there is just a plain, it's just a decorative page. Well, as in, as in, it doesn't have any in, anything interactive. Same for this one. Um, I'm sparse on photos uh, from the really early days. Um, this photo, this page here, um, scrappy memories is purely decorative. Um, no photos. Um, then this one um, is a flip out page, as the others are. Perspective by Bramble Fox there. Um, I love this Let's Get Crafty collection. It just inspired me so much to make this um, album. This one flips up here. I've got another photo and then I've got my journaling. I wanted to include quite a lot of journaling in this book um, because of the nature of it um, and how far back it goes. It's a real good story to tell. So it's wonderful to have all those memories um, there. So just sewed this um, flap instead of making it a flip out and created a pocket for some photos. And I have journaling on the back of all of those and little ribbon tags. Let me just slot into there. So same style page, but uh, a pocket instead of a flip out. This one is just as it is. Lots of journaling on this side and I've um, cut this one so that it's just a plain page doesn't flip open um this one here these are my first layouts i made at go go get away uh for teaching i mean so they i think they look awful now but <laughs> at the time i liked them um so a little vellum flip over or flip up there to reveal the layouts and then i've got my journaling in there this one I've made into a pocket. So I found creating on top of this hexagon paper really hard. Um, it's gorgeous, but it's very, very busy. Um, so I found it quite hard to do anything with the pages with that print on. So I have just created a vellum envelope or pack pocket and then just included my photos and journaling and things in there. That was a nice easy way out and great way to use such a busy paper which is so beautiful I ha it had to go in um but uh, it just didn't um i couldn't scrap much on top of it to be honest and another pure decorative page with those foam stickers so stick scissors stickers washi um this is when i became um a manager or owner of go go getaway so boss lady so the word boss is a bramble fox perspective and in here I've just made an envelope, in here I've got a um, tag shape um, and on the back as well. Then just decorative page, or sorry, just a um, plain page on the back there with a photo. Then I've got the tags, three of the tags together and um, sewn, cut apart, distressed, sewn back together. Um, and obviously the same on the back, so good Good for journaling those tags they're, they're absolutely awesome um, another flip out page here and i craft past my bedtime so good love that saying um that clock there says 3 a.m <laughs> so um so yes definitely craft past my bedtime certainly do that um this one was when flora uh farkas came to guest design for us in 2017 so photos from that one and some journaling about that event this one here is a vellum pocket decorated with the circle stickers from the um, sticker book let's get crafty sticker book and I've got the big foam sticker on there then in here I have a tag which again has a little pocket and then I have lots of photos uh, in there and journaling on the back layouts by missy wooden who um guest designed for us she didn't come over that was a remote one there we go we have had such some such good times over the years um purely decorative page there i loved that desk sticker with all the bits on added some flowers um and flower there as well just to jazz it up a little bit on the back of the vellum then a big shake pocket there um with the hashtag dream team um this, this pocket here is all about my team 
and our design team weekends that we have. It was a, it was a murder once um, and a baby another time. Um, so, <laughs> uh, and then the best photo in the world there, which is when we got evacuated from the hotel um, because of fire alarm. So of course we had to take a silly photo. So we're all putting her, uh, shocked faces. Um, it's just the funniest photo ever. Um, and lots of journaling about um, my wonderful, 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 amazing team. So I got really quite, not emotional, but, you know, nostalgic when I was making this book because it's, there's just, it's been such a huge part of my life for the last uh, 10, 11 years, um, more so in the last five. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of stories to tell. Uh, this one was 2018 when we had Chamel come and guest design for us and she did come in person. Um, so lots of amazing photos from, and memories from that weekend. So there's the group photo, flip open. This was um, a watercolour name that um, Chamel did for me and she did for everyone actually at the retreat. It was pretty awesome. She went around to everyone and did that. Um, that's all, us all crafting um, at that retreat. And then in here, I made a little pocket. See that little pocket there, um, and uh, use the tags to create a little tag book so I could include more journaling and more photos. There's the wonderful Chamel, and there she is again with one of her layouts. It was our 10th birthday celebration, so I made a massive cake <laughs> to feed 60 people. Um, and uh, Chamel in the deck chair and me in the toilet toilet selfie <laughs> uh, only if you've uh, been to gogo -Go will you understand that one <laughs> um okay so there we go then got another page there that's from 2018 later on in the year october another flip out page here opens up like this to reveal more photos inside here and then behind the photo i turn the photo into a pocket and i've included more um journaling cards whoops there so it was a nice easy way of including extras um just under the photo and i loved this crafted magazine by simple a simple stories publication just thought that was fabulous so that went on there for a purely decorative page this was um june 2019 when the amazing lisa fonseca came to stay um fangirl moment there um and uh, there she is with the team and with me. That's me teaching. So that was um, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Vicky, hi Vicky. <laughs> then um, October 19, I've got some, again, I made some more um, tags to go behind the photos. Got more photos and journaling um, in there as well. Um, and then we move into COVID. So 2020, OMG. Um, so I've used a year to remember um, Bramble Fox perspective on there because oh my goodness it was a year to remember it totally changed the way we do things um and it's been amazing but challenging at times so lots of writing um about that there um and uh, a little decorative page there on my flip open and then i have um, our group photo from march uh, 2020 which obviously was a whole bunch of selfies because we were all at home <laughs> um and then um this wonderful little photo here one of my delegates um made this board and took a photo of it for us for that weekend it was it was brilliant um me in my craft room about to start teaching with a glass of wine <laughs> and um our um group photos uh in our little chat groups you know didn't the world change then it's hugely um there we go then this one is a, just a small pocket, Go Go Cyber Retreat. I had that specially made for the retreat and I have one left over. Um, so I've used that here. And um, I've got a number of Go Go Cyber Retreats in here, in these pockets. In this pocket, I've got one, two, three tags and I've got photos and journaling about them all because we had quite a number of them, um, obviously, <laughs> uh, as the pandemic lasted quite some time. Um, so that's what that one's about. Then this one is another flip open um and group for our group photo very small group photo because um <laughs> we weren't allowed to mix more than uh four, five six people um and then in here um this is the first one back and we were at a new venue so um i had quite a lot of things to show uh photos i wanted to capture this one so in this little vellum envelope i've made a little book um and you can see that i have lots of extra photos in there how cute is that it's one of the ephemera pieces and i wrapped it around with actual thread and uh, i've got lots of journaling 
and lots of photos in this little cute little book. It comes together really well actually, this little book, I love it. Um, living a crafty life, absolutely. So they call me crafty, they sure do. Um, so there we go. That goes in there and that kind of hooks under there like that to keep it closed. It's pretty bulky actually, but uh, you know, love a bulky mini book. And then nearly there, um, this page here is just another flip open like that. And then finally, we're back to normal. So that's my final page um, in the book. Um, I do want to put some other information in this book, but I've really run out of space. So I might just put a another piece on here and um, do some writing on there um, just to finish it off. But um, yeah, finish off the story. The book is definitely finished. <laughs> so there you go. That is my very epic, not so mini, mini book. <laughs> So I hope you have enjoyed um, seeing that mini album that flipped through there. Here are a few um, close up images. Um, there are quite a lot of them. I've took, taken loads of photos, um, but um, I think the flip through is probably the best way to see all the interactive parts um, and to see all the details and how the album works as a whole. Um, it's hard to see um, from these still photos, um, especially as they're cropped fairly close. But you can see some of the details now, which is nice. Um, I tell you, this Let's Get Crafty collection is so, so awesome. Um, anyone who loves crafting um, and anyone who has photos of crafting events or similar, um, this is just perfect for you. Um, I was so inspired by it. I just loved it. I have so many photos of so many, 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 many retreats. Um, and uh, I've just loved creating this book. It's been a labor of love. It's taken a long time, but it is amazing. And uh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love all the little details. So if you're still with me, thank you very much for watching. And um, I really hope that um, you check out the Let's Get Crafty collection. Um, so that was Nikki Rowland um, for Simple Stories.